We're at Burning Man 2015. Um, I'm working with uh, Harlan Gruber, who's an artist, making portals. He's been making them for the past 12 years. I've been building portal installations at Burning Man since 2004, and for this year, I'm collaborating with uh, several other artists on this piece that I'm standing in front of. I'm Kathy D'Onofrio, and I'm lead artist for 1155 Reformation Portal. I happen to have started a company called Vortrex, and we are a small business that are developing wind turbines and uh, solar systems. And there's one here that we created for Harlan in this portal, the 1155 portal, and it is providing all the power for his audio system, uh, the Quasar transducer, and also the lighting. I've met Harlan because I like his stuff. I sit in it and it's very grounding, meditative. My stuff, not grounding, not meditative. It's very fun, fictional. It's a, really a special event because here, for the first time, you have three different artists. I consider myself one of those artists being an engineer. Uh, I've tried to create something that goes well with the uh, portal. The base of this solar and wind turbine charging station uh, is a um, dodecahedron, a trun truncated dodecahedron, and uh, we've done it also in the, uh, the same color as the Playa Sand. And um, anyway, it's just a really beautiful piece. And the other artist uh, has created this uh, paper mache ET theme to go with the portal. And it's just a really beautiful collaboration with technology and art that's unique to Burning Man, I think. We began by creating the, uh, the wall itself. Um, well, I guess before that, we even put down the uh, carpet. We had to nail that into the playa, and then we set up the framing and then the walls themselves. And after having that wall in place, we put the uh, charging station in the middle, and that took some engineering just to, to and planning to get that up and running. got the turbine on there and hooked up and it was so exciting to see the thing finally working after all this time of designing it and building it to actually see it working it's actually working better than I expected to and uh, now the batteries are at 100% which I wish I've been checking it every every couple hours as it goes up this wonderful possibility of, of technology that looks like organic biology, you know, that, that looks like a growing system, but you can look at it and know that it's, it also has man-made technology built into it. And that's what Burning Man is. It's a, it's a mixing pot of these creative minds that have, you know, incredible tools and imaginations that they bring to show what's possible. And, and a, a philosophy as well of, you know, living with the planet, living with one another in love and in peace and in celebration of all the possibilities. You know, that's, that's what I love about this place. And what I'm discovering is that you discover yourself. You truly discover yourself here. So when people wander out to the deep playa and find one of my portal installations, one of the uh, key elements th that's really intrinsic and important to it is this sound device I install in them called a quasar wave transducer. And it's a subsonic uh, feedback device that vibrates the whole piece with random chaotic like uh, giant cat purring sounds. And so uh, th that, and th I put that in there to kind of activate the experience. When people come out here and 
get quiet and meditate and let the sound from the quasar transducer uh, affect them, they have these profound awakenings, uh, these moments of transcendence that you normally don't get in your day-to-day -day life. And so this portal induces this experience for many people. And uh, that's our true hope is that people, you know, might have a, a, a type of awakening that they typically would not have elsewhere. Well, I consider the portals this type of technology that is assisting in the way that we can inhabit the earth appropriately. We have lots of, av of available sunshine, we have lots of available wind, and it's there free for the taking. And now we have the technology that's able to efficiently extract that energy from the environment all around us and put it where it's needed. It doesn't need to be sent over long wires, uh, creating this ugly mess on, the, on our beautiful landscapes. We have the ability to generate power where it's needed and in abundance and it's here now and it's time for us to, to jump on board that train and embrace it. It is our future. We all have to save this world. This is our job and that's, that's what we're doing. Burning Man is just such a chaotic, beautiful, creative coming together of people from all over the world, different, you know, lifestyles and experiences, and it's very intense. And here on the playa, away from all that chaos, which is so beautiful in its own way, you can come to a place and be away and be alone and balance, connect to yourself again and internalize what it is you're experiencing here. And I think it's so important. I just, I think this portal is one of the most important ingredients to the Burning Man experience. You guys won my heart on the playa. This is my favorite place. I came here every single night. And it's really hard to go to one place every single night, but somehow I made it here. On September 5th, um, it was at 5 o'clock, 5.30 actually, Eastern time in New York. Tom Kenyon, a famous musician and composer, held a global meditation and we um, coordinated one of our meditations with his um, New York event and we had an absolutely packed portal. We made an announcement on the radio, on Burning Man Radio. Um, I was just blown away when we came out here uh, by the number of bicycles and people who wanted to participate in this half hour global meditation. And um, I think for the week that may have been the very highlight of our, uh, of the portal. I think the future is to take wind turbine technology like this and make it even more beautiful, make it look like a, a kinetic sculpture that people really want to have in their yards, in their backyard for the sheer beauty of it. And by the way, it creates energy uh, that you can use for your home. If you've never done Burning Man, you should.